Hey guys, how are you guys doing today? I'm I'm doing fine myself. Um, I never thought I would be making a video like this because this might come out as very controversial, but I thought might as well. Who who cares really? It's it's just a video at the end of the day. It's not gonna affect anyone. It's not gonna hurt anyone. So who really cares? And I know you're gonna look at the title and you're gonna look at the thumbnail and be like, oh my god, it's a conservative or something. I'm not a conservative by any standards. I'm not super gun toting or anything like that honestly i don't care if you have a gun as long as you use it for the right uh, reasons like hunting self-defense anything like that that's perfectly fine so i'm not against guns but i'm not super for it because there are like super fucking like mini guns and shit that's in america that i think it's just stupid to have to begin with so i'm pretty torn i guess you can say but this video is just all types of wrong it's just stupid <laughs> It's easy to spot guns at protests across the country. Okay, first thing, if they're so easy, why are you putting giant circles? I mean, I got fucking eyeballs. I can see, bro. Saw it in the hands of groups like the anti-government Boogaloo Boys. Boogaloo Boys? Really? That's like the best name they could think of? Of the original Black Panthers of Virginia. I have my gripes with this group for a very specific reason, but uh, I'll just not say it. The AR-15 is America's most popular rifle. The weapon has also become notorious for its use in deadly mass shootings. Yet gun experts we talk to emphasize that more often than not, it's owned legally and responsibly. Yeah, of course it's legal and the person is at fault. It's not the guns. Who would have thought? It's almost like if a mentally ill person has hands on a gun, he'll do something bad. Oh my god, well, who should have thought of that one? Now, in my opinion, I feel that there should be a long-term psychological test to see if the person's mentally capable of handling a gun and not, you know, going on a rampage, but I'm not a gun expert or something. I'll leave that up to Brandon Herrera and Grand Thumb. People are drawn to the AR-15 because it's so customizable. You can swap parts or even build your own from scratch. Yeah, you know you can do that with, like, most modern guns, right? It's not just included to the AR. I don't know why the media has such a fixation on the AR. It's like, oh, the AR is the, you know, the demon and such. It's not the AR, you know, there's multiple guns that are customizable, can be used in such force like the AR can, but they just never talk about it. For example, in 2022, on December 1st, 15-year-old shot and killed five people with a shotgun, including an officer and his own brother. Shot and injured two, shot an officer while he was laying down prone, and he ambushed the said officers in a forest. He has been arrested, luckily, but still, this person had a shotgun, and he was able to cause just as amount of mass damage as an AR-15 would, but they didn't really cover it because, guess what, it wasn't an AR-15. I will give the media credit, they did cover it, but they didn't cover it as big as they would have if it was an AR-15. They would have had experts on and said, you know, the AR-15 is like, um, it's the major cause behind all of this and all of this damage, you know what I mean? And they would have shot some more propaganda such as that but they didn't because it wasn't an AR-15, so they didn't even fucking bother. Now, someone who's kind of backed up on my claim right now is Defenders and Disciplines. I'll leave the link for the, both the video and their channel in the description. They talk about the lies really well. Sorry, Defenders and Discipline, but I'm going to actually use your video real quick just to kind of harp on some of the points so we can get this out of the way. Anti-gun lie one. AR stands for assault rifle or automatic rifle. Contrary to popular belief, AR does not stand for assault rifle or automatic rifle. AR stands for Armalite. Armalite was the original manufacturer of the AR-15. The term assault rifle comes from the German Sturmgewehr, which was the STG-44. Anti-gun lie number two. AR-15s are a serious threat to public safety and they must be banned. False. This lie is based on the ignorant though popular belief that ARs are used in most mass shootings. Not only that, but the truth is only a very small portion of those hundreds of mass shootings that are reported by the GVA are actually perpetrated with a gun like this. But according to the Statista Research Department, since 1985, only 49 of these mass shootings have been perpetrated with a rifle. If you want to go check out their video, it'll be in the link in the description. They'd go into a great deep dive into to the myths and lies from both the anti-gun and the pro-gun as well. But if you replace its standard 16-inch barrel with something shorter, it turns into what's called a short-barreled rifle. How do you do it, Holmes? My god, the genius! I mean, no shit, what's next? Are you gonna say when I take out a mag and put a new mag in that I'm reloading? The rest of the ARs we found were normal length, though they were modified in other ways. This one featured a scope, 
a tube with a magnifying lens to help with aim. Mm, thank you, Sherlock Holmes. Mm, I didn't know that one. And this one had an optic in a tan color described as flat dark earth. Is this video for like the blind people? Because I have eyeballs. We can all see here, bro. Maybe it's made for deaf people because this shit slaps on mute. A shade meant to blend in with desert surroundings. <coughs> uh, who fucking cares, dude? Uh, no one cares about the like, color or what it's meant to do as in camouflage. I mean, God. At one inauguration protest we went to, this happened. Can you please leave that point that down? Oh, okay, sure. Like that? Okay. Yes. There you go. You okay. Point it down a little bit more. More? I don't have. Well, listen, I don't have a problem with you carrying it, <laughs> yeah. but I really need you to point it. Absolutely, down, there you because go. you're scaring the hell out of everybody. Uh, there is two sides to this one. I mean, the person shouldn't have been flagging people, especially with a loaded fucking rifle. He definitely should have learned how to actually, you know, properly hold a rifle, meaning hold it down, hold it in the air. I don't fucking care. Just don't aim it straight at people. But the guy who's, like, telling him to put it down isn't good either. He was just being a fucking asshole about it. I mean, why did you, like, have to be like, Yo, yo, bro, bro, you're scaring the fuck out of everybody. What the fuck is wrong with you? Like, dude, he was just holding it wrong. Just say, hey, point that down. You know, it's, it's, you're flagging people. That's bad. And even then, he had a super dickish tone. Just like, bro, bro, what's wrong with you type of tone. Now, I get it. It is terrifying to have a gun aimed at you, but you should at least stay calm and at least be respectful because this guy has the gun. You don't. This man had a shotgun, a weapon originally meant for hunting game that can leave large wounds. This one is a 12-gauge pump-action model. 12 because back when people made their own ammo, that's how many balls could be made from one pound of lead to fit inside the barrel. So the larger the gauge number, the thinner the barrel. 12 is the most common in the US, even though it has a pretty serious recoil. And pump-action because after every shot, you have to pull the forearm back to release the empty shell, then push it forward to reload. Bro, what decoding are you do? All you're doing is giving basic information on what the gun is, what the gun has, like, ammo type-wise, where it originated, etc. Like, you're not really doing much. Also, the dislike-to-like ratio speaks volumes. Alright, that was absolute trash. Time to see what the uh, comments say about this one. If you replace the barrel with something shorter, it becomes a short-barreled rifle. Hmm, yes, this floor appears to be made out of floor. That's what I'm saying, not gonna lie, like, what the fuck? The fact that I, a 16-year-old from New Zealand who doesn't have access to firearms, cringed at the things they said about firearms in this report really says something. That's true, even for me. I mean, I'm 16 years old and I'm in the USA, but, I mean, this shit's just fucking cringe as fuck, man. The nice job decoding those weapons. I mean, without you guys, I would never have been able to tell the difference between an AR-15 and an AR-15 with a scope. Help with aim. Some CIA-level decoding you guys are doing out there. I mean, yeah, there, there's some NASA-level shit right here, bro. You guys have a well and splendid day. Again, check out Defenders and Discipline. They did a great job breaking down the AR lies and shit on both sides by both the anti-gun and the pro-gun. So go check them out on that one. Anyways, have a good day, guys.